Welcome everybody to this uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple login page with the uh, connection with the database so that your login is actually picking up values from the from the database. So to save your time, I've actually uh, created much of the screen myself before and uh, I'll be just showing you how to actually pull up the data to and validate the login. So this is the landing page. I've just configured this from my app settings that this should be my start page, which is the login page. And it, it has these values, username txt, which is the text box for accepting username. And then the password txt, which is the name of the text box for accepting the password. Okay, so this is, that's that, that's the only two fields I've got over here. The two buttons, login and register, I'll be first making and showing to you what is the login, uh, the functionality of the login button in this video and the register we'll do later on. And what I would want to do is, when the user clicks over here, login, the system should go the, to the database and verify that there is a login with this ID and this password which the user has entered on his mobile. It exists in the database. If it exists, then we will show him this, a new page, which can be a new, uh, which is the home page, which should be a landing page of the user after successful login. And if it is not <coughs> successful, then the user will see the sorry page. So this is a basic um, login which I'm actually demonstrating to you now and I hope this should be like finished in like five minutes so that you can quickly create your own login so <clears throat> once you have created this screen which is the login screen um, please note that the login is actually automatically provided by Apri itself so what you need to do first of all is to create a database service come here create new and create a database service select your database right now let me show you my database um, I've got a database over here, uh, I've given it to the name tasks, this is the database, it can, it can have uh, collections, collections are same as the database table, so it, by default the user's collection is already there and you can add more collections. So if you'd like to create a new uh, table, you come to the create new collection and the, that table name should be provided and then the table should be created. However, the users is a default table created already. It has username and password. So I'll add my first username and password over here. Uh, uh, this is the first one which I've added before. So I'll add one more, a little bit more realistic. So this is Murad and it, the password is 123, for example. And then click anywhere outside, it will save itself. So you have a database. Uh, you have a users inside every uh, database by default already. You just create plus row and this will increase, add a new row and fill in the username and password. So that's all. Let's go back to my Appery uh, page, the application page. So this is the page login I would like to create a login service for. Go to data over here and then select a service. Uh, and then you need to select the login service from here. So if the login service, you see, it's not here. What you can do is, uh, actually, this should be done uh, before coming here. That go to create new, uh, new database service, and select the database. This is the database that I had here. This database, tasks database. So I selected this database, and for which I I want the login and sign up. This is for register these two services and i need this for the tasks database so if you look at this this is the task database so if you want to register which is sign up it is actually create create so i click on create and i also click on query which is for the login and i also can click on read later on i can actually add more capabilities but right now i need only these two create and query import services for login i've got my services ready if you come over here, you will see these. So now go to design of this page, uh, data of this page and select the service which you would like to choose. This is my login service and then I click add. Once this you click add, there's a rest service name by default. You change it to something which you will remember more, login service. So this is the service which was by default provided to you and now this you are using this service. And in your service, what you would like to define is these two things, before send and success. So before send, you would like to do the mapping of username and password fields. So click on mapping, expand all on the left side, expand on the right side. 
and you will see this is the service and this is your page so what I would like to do is my username txt the text of the username txt I would like to map to the username and the text of the password txt I would like to map to the password and that's that that's the only thing and save and return this is finished once this is successful once this is successful you will see <coughs> What to do? I mean, if, if it is successful, the login service, then you have to add navigation, meaning you would like the user to go to the welcome page. So if the login service is successful, in the event you select successful, then you navigate to a page and that navigate to a page is the welcome page and you click save. However, if it is unsuccessful, unsuccessful then you define over here if make sure this login service is selected if it is uh, there is error if it is meaning unsuccessful then also you would like to go to a page and that page is sorry and you click save so you'll see these um, elements are added over here and this navigate to page is added to this uh, success now once that is done my database work is finished i go back to the design now i need to hook this up with my login page login button sorry. I need to say when the login button is clicked then you invoke that service so the name of the login button right now is uh, not significant I'll uh, name it login btn and this is my register btn and login button I would say when the login button is clicked then you have to invoke a service which I just created over here from the database that the service name is login service and you click save once you do that your login is ready and I can go to test make sure the it is click for the public so your friends can also test this launch this and if you remember my username and password I've written Murad and one two three I'll come over here I'll try to enter wrong username for example Murad2 and some other garbage and try logging in it will it should not log in you log you in it will give you sorry so what you should do is go back Murad123 this is the correct password I log in and then I should see this welcome screen okay so this is a very uh, quick way to add login capabilities to your application I hope you enjoyed thank you